Well, you know, I owe you a follow-up uh, from the b- debate I did say yesterday that I didn't want to really deal with it, but that if, you know, she wins and he loses, that might stave off a black swan event. You know, because if, if she got trounced like, like uh, what's his name? <laughs> He's leaving my memory now, Biden. Uh, there may have been some kind of, of black swan event, you know, cyber attack, nuke, uh, you know, World War Three escalation with Russia, you know, any kind of um, anything could have could have happened. And uh, but she was victorious last night. And uh, not in I mean, we all know, you know, I mean, I know she's let me, let me just get this straight. I don't know any, you know, liberals, Democrats, socialists, communists that don't lie. This way I have no I have no contact the only contact I have is really through this podcast. And usually they get disgusted and just hang it up and go to, go to where there's speakers that will speak sweet nothings into their ears because that's all they can really handle, you know? I mean, I, I do feel we suffer a mass mental illness in America. When I say mental illness, specifically what I mean is we, we suffer from mass psychosis. Mass psychosis that was... You know, it's not exactly all the people's fault. But why don't I have it? You know what I mean? Well, I've never had it. Um, 
it, it comes from conforming to the system and eventually the lie becomes the truth and so then everything you say is a lie. So I can't be equally yoked with leftists or with, for that matter, with right-wing neocons and, you know, I mean, the name tells you everything, neocon, a con artist. They're warmongers. I, I can't, I grew up in a family of warmongers and witches, you know, and it was just a really sad, family, sad situation, but, you know, this, you know, this, this idea of pushing for the more noobs and pushing for uh, advanced technology and all that, and, and uh, I was aware of the shenanigans going on at Lockheed, Boeing, uh, Northrop, Raytheon. Well, I wouldn't even know those names unless there was some kind of family involvement with it. And uh, now I feel, no, I don't feel guilty. It's just that I've, you know, I mean, I guess I'm the one that repents, you know, for, for um, basically being involved in companies that are pushing war, like they pushed the Vietnam War, which was fake. They pushed World War II, which was fake. 9-11, here we are on the date of 9-11, which is fake, it was really, it was executed. Uh, the history book should show that it's executed by the US military against the people, uh, free people of the United States and around the world. Um, but it's a US military operation. But is that really that hard to see? I mean, this is what I, didn't I tell you that on day one, the moment it happened. And we saw Bush, you know, the re reading from the book about the goats. He's reading the book upside down. You knew he was in on it. So, and, and that, that, you know, criminal Dick Cheney and the rest of them, that's the military. That's Colin Powell, all those guys. They quarterbacked it. They, they ran it. And then they went ahead to use it as a pretext for doing what? Going into Iraq. Remember shock and awe? We couldn't find weapons of mass destruction, but 9-11 got your attention. And remember the news media said, we're gonna, they're going to blow up the building. The news media announced that they're going to blow up the building. Get out of there. Warning, we're going to blow up the building. Get out of there. Warning, hey, we're going to blow up the building. Hey, NBC News, ABC, CBS, we're going to blow up the building. Get out. Yeah, but what about the rest of the people? Just get out and keep your mouth shut. Oh. So, you know, so the same cast of characters that's involved in Ukraine and stealing all the money from hardworking Americans uh, are not, were, are, were involved in 9-11. And that's, you know, and they basically, the terrorists are, are basically, uh, you, you know, are out of central casting. And that's been the way it's been for all these years, but nobody seems to, you know, they want to get into the, uh, you know, the planes or invisible planes or whatever. It doesn't matter if it's invisible planes. They rigged the building to blow. The U.S. military quarterbacked it. The president was down. Everybody, the news media, completely down. They announced that they were going to blow the building, get out of there. How would they know that? And did they ever have to answer for that? Of course not. Did you guys ever prosecute that, Americans? No. Too cowardice. So here we are. Because of you. Well, didn't Obama start out? No, you did 9-11. Those who fail to prosecute the crimes become accomplices in the crimes. Don't you know that? I mean, I just feel, you know, I feel so frustrated. I just feel like, you know, Americans are so fucking dumb. I'm sorry, there I go, Lord. That it would take, I don't know, 15 years to, to re-educate them as to the way the world works. You know, as to who did what to who. But French Revolution. Okay, let's take the French Revolution. How many of you studied the French Revolution in high school? You're old enough to have actually had a liberal arts education. Good for you. That has helped you. That has helped your critical thinking skills. That has helped you understand your world more, right? Well, not exactly, but it has helped you. Given you a broader perspective. So the French Revolution was, a, was the same people that did 9-11. Okay? And we could go on. 
The Nazis are the same people that did 9-11. May we go on. You want me to go on? See, this is what's frustrating. This is the absolute truth. So that's too much for even the conspiracy theorists to go after. I'm standing way over the line from them. We tied all this together on the first podcast in 2002. There's no countries for these people. They control the U.S. military, the U.N., the Congress, the, the advertising, the mind control, and the ba ba sheeple, which now I just call anybody that run, anyone that even follows Taylor Swift is a you know, mind control sheep, an idiot, a fool, period. And they did the same thing with Gaga. They did the same thing with uh, till she got looking, you know, ugly, you know. And they did the same thing with Katy Perry till she got old enough to look ugly. Now she's going to marry Orlando Bloom, a great actor, but obviously a guy that has no taste. It's just incredible to me um, having to put up with this, having to put up with neighbors who are complete, total, blithering idiots. Having to put up with family that were complete, total, blithering idiots and liars. Having to know these things and eat it or else you get in trouble. You get in trouble. How do I know all these things? Because I know a lot of things that, uh, I know, I know. I had a, one time an NSA guy did call me and, and he wondered why I knew all the things I knew back then. He thought I was in the NSA. Okay, so you run that risk. You know, in other words, the guy was there to discredit me. You must be an insider, that's why you know all this stuff. The only reason they haven't killed you is because they're allowing the, the, this much information to get out to the public so the public will be scared. Well, there is some truth in that. And last night was true to form. I said, and I'm the only one that said this, so I like, I like being out front. Said, you know, it might not be such a bad thing if she wins and he loses. She did not win. Listen, no, 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 you don't understand what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I do. I'm not talking about that, that, who wins, who loses, I don't care. I'm talking about the fact that it may have staved off a real 9-11 or black swan. It may not have, too. But, it, it, you know, it all depends whether they're going to install her as president and kick Biden out completely before the election or not. Uh, that will make a determination. But it looks to me like what has happened has staved off some kind of event that was planned to go off and interrupt the whole damn thing. If he had trounced her like he did to Biden and she was a TKO meaning she couldn't come back and debate, then, it was, then they have two choices. One, they could, um, you know, install her as president and have her have to go to war. Two, they could just have the uh, black swan event, call it an emergency, create martial law, and then reorganize it later and have an election, promise an election, you know, a couple years down the road. And meanwhile, use that as a, pre, as a pretext, as a tool to eliminate, you know, a couple billion people. Uh, we might, that, you know, let me say, I don't see what God, maybe God saved us. You know, because Trump really didn't do anything. He was very straightforward. And she, uh, my friend who, who watches all this stuff like a hawk, is very, he wrote me and said, that bitch is beating his ass. And I know that's, if you look at her diatribes that weren't stopped by the moderators, uh, everything she said is a lie. Everything. I mean, she lies when she doesn't have to lie. She just is one constant lie. If that's what the American people want, I want nothing to do with them. Fuck America, then. Fuck America, seriously. Fuck the people of America. Let them eat a nuke. You know, I'm sick and tired of their stupidity, their arrogance, they're, 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 they're taking people like us and, and sidelining us as problem as, as, the, as the trouble when they're the ones causing the trouble. You know, gaslighting, 
gang stalking like we used to have, not went mainstream. There's no such thing as gang stalking anymore per se. It's now, uh, it's now society wide. The frequencies are hitting everyone. The cooking is hitting everyone. Yeah, the, the, the weapons are hitting everyone. <laughs> okay. I guess I raised my voice because I'm, I'm just very disappointed. You know, insulting Americans or French or... No, I got nothing but good things to say about the Russians. Shoot, I wish I lived there. Man, they, 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 they treat ex- expatriates right. They think you get a $3,000 check if you come here and you don't know shit. You just come over here, you get your monthly check and you get to kick people out of their apartments and eat their pets and, and away you go. Free as a bird. Anyway, um, the debate from the spiritual perspective is, uh, I believe, bought some time. So I think you better be thankful, we better be thankful that she did have a win because another loss would have been disastrous for our country, I mean, for average people that might be walking around in front of a bomb or something. You know, if they decide to roll that out. But make no mistake, they got all the bombs. They got all the guns already. They got all the bullets. They own all the manufacturing places that make guns and bullets. They have to have them manufactured to give out to their friends, you know. In other words, they got to give them to the immigrants because they're all armed to the teeth. Where'd they get those AR-15s a couple grand? Where'd they get all those? Oh, where'd they get all that? They were handed out to them. They were trained to shoot Americans. The next step will be to confiscate the guns of America or create a buyback program or whatever it is they want to do. And then they're going to sick these people on you. You know, they've already gotten rid of 350,000 kids. That's quite a big sacrifice. And they did that. Why did they, why 300 plus thousand kids missing into, uh, you know, uh, modern day slavery and sex trafficking? Why would that be? It's a, well, because most of them are one of dead. So it's a sacrifice to win the election. It was run by the, 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 they need to sacrifice to their God to win the election. That's why they went missing. That's why they're trafficking them. They want more. They'd like another 300 before the uh, voting. You got to understand the way this world works. There is no exception to what I am saying. And there was no exception in 2002 to what I was saying. What I'm saying is 100% true. Now, you can either get depressed, uh, ignore it, get drunk, get high, get stoned out of your mind, go try to live off the land, but you're still going to die. You've still got to fight disease. You've still got, you know, predators after you. There, there, there's, you know, we are hunted and we are hunters. And that's the reality of this world. And those people that are at the top pulling all the strings, if you don't like it, you can join them and go to the top with them, you know, and, you, you know, the way you start with, with the mafia, which is what it is, is basically you start doing little favors and pretty soon, you know, you've got to be like Tony Montana and Scarface, you know, the, uh, like Al Pacino. And, you know, you, you, when they come after you, with the, when, the, when the Venezuelans come after you, you cut their fucking head off with a, with a chainsaw, you get the yahoo, you get the uh, money, you return both back to the boss and, you know, as a bonus. And then the boss says, I'm going to treat you to a big dinner. You're going to go far in this business, Tony. You're going to go to the top. And he, he's, he already knows that. So then his handler, the guy that got him the job, in other words, he said, how would you like to make some really big money? Five grand if you can go down and, uh, you know, facilitate this uh, transfer of uh, Coke for money in Miami. Goes down there, and uh, the uh, Colombians, whoever they were, had no in- intention of uh, letting go of the money. They were just there to steal it. So they got the chainsaw out, and uh, Tony escaped it, and he was able to bring all of that loot back to the boss. Played by Frank Loggia, right? Frank Loggia? Remember him? 
I really miss him. I miss the whole Brian De Palma thing. You know, what a, what a great director. Anyway. Anyway. Um, I say that on the side because you know, the arts are, you know, monopolized by the U.S. military. Monopolized by CIA agents. Monopolized by assassins. I mean, do, is there anyone alive who, who is dumb enough to believe that Taylor Swift was holding back her uh, endorsement of Kamala Harris and, until the debate? <laughs> this bitch is a complete total witch and lie, just like Kamala. They're cut from the same cloth. She's a complete asshole. Why would anybody, even one person, not hate her guts? Since all she does with the people around her is demean them and hate them, she hates everybody. She's a billionaire. And her music sucks. It's, again, I can't think of anything more. Child- I guess American people are just pedantic, childish, vapid, stupid, uneducated. And that was by design, right? Anyway... I uh, will just wait for God, God's plan because I know there's a lot of people praying for Trump right now that uh, he certainly went into the lion's den. You got to give him credit. It was like Disney versus Trump. Fucking assholes. Everyone at Disney should be locked up. Should be locked up with a key thrown away. And yet they run our society because they are the CIA. They are the NSA. They are the military-industrial complex. There isn't a corporation alive that isn't the military-industrial complex. So they have... Who has the nukes? Who has the terror? Who's sinking the ships? Who are the pirates? Who's doing all this? They're doing it! The guy on TV, what's his name? You know, the, the, the CEO of Disney. And Fox. And all of them. They're not going to walk away on that much money. All they got to do is cut your head off to get it. That's the real axiomatic truth statement. So you people that are say you're into the truth, I don't think you're really ready for the truth. I don't think you can handle the truth, to quote a, a line from a brilliant director who became a hack political commentator. It's amazing that Meathead was such a good director, because his dad was. He would chip off the old block, and a decent actor, but really, as a director, he really shined, especially in A Few Good Men. Remember? Nicholson and Cruz, and Cruz goes, I want the truth! And Nicholson goes, you can't handle the truth! And he's in his military uniform. And that, that right there, it said it all. George Carlin said it all. I think what's wrong with the truther community is they keep thinking that they could do something to change this. You know what I mean? And they develop a false hope. And the root of it is not in mechanics. It's in the spirit. It's the fallen spirit of man manifested into a military-industrial complex that eats its own. That's what we're dealing with. It's in all of us. I mean, the witches will try to neutralize you by hypnotizing you, initiating you into their cult, of, you know, which means that you follow the witches, your goddess or whatever, and you do what you're, you're told. They become exactly like the Wizard of Oz, the soldiers that would, would, would be would hold into the Wicked Witch of the West. Okay? They were all under mind control. And the minute she melted, they got their lives back. They looked around and go, wow, I was was under a spell. I, thank you. Thank you for releasing me. And so they basically go around getting everybody on board. So the lies sounds like the truth. And they, they, and what do they give you? They give you love. They give you, uh, They want to live inside you and be your guide. Now, where is he going now? 
And you know damn well where I'm going now. This is the big taboo subject that nobody wants you to talk about. They live inside you, and then they give you instructions as you become more obedient. And the more that, you, and then they tell you who to cooperate with. They they'll say, well, they want me to assassinate this guy, and then they'll say to you, you know, either through social media or chat AI robots or something, they'll say, yes, but this person is a detriment to mankind. It would be an act of love for you to eliminate this threat to people that, that, that are just innocent. You could be a big hero. So you go kill the guy. And then the next thing you know, you get promoted. Now they've given you a little territory to look after. But nothing is given without first there being the implantation of the witch queen, the goddess. That has to be first or you can't get in. Because, see, she psychically links all of them together. You know, that's, that's the real marriage partner. That's, in a way, Mary, in the, you know, Catholics are going to get uh, upset with this, but in a way, Mary becomes that kind of goddess and, 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 um, uh, and priests will tell you, you need to accept her into your heart and then you can start to make it better. Under the skin and into your soul, does it sound familiar? Is there any hope out there, folks, you guys who are listening who are nodding, and you know all this stuff, of course. I mean, you know, I, I learned from you too, but you know, when I get the truth, I get it as one big ball, or one big disc. So I get the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It may take me years to unpack it all. No, you're hurting my stuff. You're in my way. Yeah, so it's not, I'm, you know. Come on, It's not going to happen. Vince, Vince, I've given him a lot of attention this morning. I gave him the rest of my cottage cheese and also I had, he was able to get up on the bed and squeeze me off the bed and, and get away with a lot of stuff of a spoiled dog. Anyway, uh, he's my doctor at the same time. He, he sniffs my breath and, you know, he's, if there's anything wrong with me, he sort of stares at me like, you know, you got to take care of this. Anyway, I'm calm down now. I'm sorry for my rant. I, I'm... I'm you know the whole thing anyway. More rent! I can't do any more. I feel embarrassed like a fool. Well. Why wouldn't I have the goddess come into my heart? It is awful that 20 Why wouldn't years I? after 911. And they're still asking who did it. I know. I'm fucking fuck these people. Fuck you. And Assholes. You know, a lot of people don't even realize that uh, Building 7... Came down yeah, but, but that's because... Uh, God, it's, it's... It's the mind control. Uh, yeah, but, but how does the mind but control... There are people who are still working on it. Okay, they want to electrify us with those shots so that our, you know, our celestial angels, our guides, can get inside our bodies and regulate everything, even our hearts, our minds, where we go, who we love, who we kill. Speaking of that... Are you going to finish the song today? Yeah, I'm going to finish the song today. That is a, such a spooky, powerful song. I love it. I'm just, morning, I guess, I'm, you know, and they look for people like me. You know, he's really an angry white man. Look at that. He's an angry boomer. Look at that. I see he's an angry boomer. He doesn't like. He's a heterosexual. He doesn't like a world <laughs> where people of color are taking over the statistics. Look at him. It's all about that, isn't it? Yes, that's most of my Democrat friends when I used to have them as friends were racist. Yes, they were, are the racists. I don't know. I am not a racist. I am a uh, recluse and I hate everybody. So basically, bottom line, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't want to hate. True. Now, I don't hate everybody, but I'm, I'm disappointed by everybody. Black, white, brown, doesn't matter. I'm disappointed. See, by now I'm grandpa, okay? 
I'm grandpa. I, I'm the, they would think, you know, I mean, you know, I, and, and it's not like I have an eternity left. I'm grandpa and I should have, you know, there should be people grasping some of these ideas. Because once you see it, you realize there's only one thing, I swear, that you can do. There's only one name, only one person, only one move that you can make if you can see the gestalt of truth. And that is like a ball. Whether it's 9-11, whether it's the medical establishment, whether it's this, whether it's that, whether it's the occult, whether it's Satan, Satanism, which is human sacrifice, technology, technocracy, all of that is in the ball. It's one ball. It's just, here, catch, catch. Please catch that ball. Please. I'm sick and tired of this meandering around year after year, wasting our time. Wasting everybody's time. Wasting your entire life. For what? For nothing. As soon as they start calling you conspiracy theorist, you know what I mean? You, you had to back down, right? Because you're... Uh, your wife doesn't like it when uh, you're, you're excised from society, right? She still wants to play the game. She still wants to be popular. And if you catch the ball, you ain't going to be popular, are you? And you know this Kamala Harris... And they go, well, what about Trump? Does Trump get a pass? No, Trump doesn't get a pass. He's got the whole Scottish right thing going and all that. And I, I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. I don't trust anybody, okay? But Trump would be, for my life and my friends and their children and their grandchildren, the best choice. Not even, it's not even a choice. It's not even a choice. It's a default if you want to live. I mean, I, I just... God, I would love to, to have a boxing match with Schwarzenegger. You know what I mean? I might have to do it on a wheelchair. <laughs> but I, mean, I, I, I just feel like there's no other words that we'll do. We just have to go to fisticuffs now. We, we have, you know, remember the old-fashioned duel. We have to walk, you know, our 25, 30, 50 paces, turn and shoot. You know, I don't think there's any way out of it. I think we're just going to kill each other endlessly in the world because we are never... Look, look. The United States is never going to come together again. Okay? You'll never hear surf music again. Understand? You will never hear surf music again. Oh, yes, I will. You will not hear surf music I will. again. I will hear it today. You'll hear reruns. Now, you probably get an inkling of what Trish has to put up with and putting up with me. I mean, you probably think, you're glad you're not Trish right now, right? <laughs> Benson has brought us a pear. And he's eaten half of it. It's too hard. It's not right yet. Yeah, that pear tree, I don't know if that's going to really do it for us. The grapes were good. Come on, Ben. Anyway, bottom line, that was my rant. I'm a little bit exhausted. I, I think the way we should look at this, I'm just going to try to be calm. I'm, I'm sorry. This stuff really gets to me. The bars of my prison are ignorant people. And I tend to get mad at them. I know I need to forgive them and love them and pray for them. And that's what I'm going to do. I just get so, you know, when Jesus said, oh, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And, and, you know, he was frustrated then when he said that, wasn't he? Right? That's not something you say when you're all happy. Yeah. If people knew what this was, our problems would be over. Because we would not elect to repeat the same mistake 
that we've done with this Congress and you know, acting like we have a democracy and all that. We don't have any democracy. We don't have any re republic. We don't have any of it. Unfortunately, we do. We do not. It's not a republic at the moment. That nobody it's represents me. Democracy. The, the Congress does not represent me, nor does the Senate, nor does the UN, nor do American people. I'm out of, out of step with all of them, with all of it, with the whole thing, with Fox News, all of them, all of it, Alex Jones, all of it. Alex wants a, a solution that's peaceful and nice, and he wants to be political and help Trump win and all that, and that's fine, but I've, uh, that ship has sailed for me. I'm not, no more of this shit. I am sick of it. Out of the age now, I'm not getting any younger. I can't do what you know, Alex is doing and all these other Dad, people. What? You did buy a flagpole. I'm going to fly the, the, Zeph, the Zeph flag. <laughs> I'm going to fly because I'm, I am the one. <laughs> I am the uh, future. So I'm going to fly the, the Zeph flag. I pledge allegiance to Zeph. <laughs> <laughs> the you know and and, and uh, you know with liberty and justice for all, and uh, if that flagpole ever does come, I'm going to bury it in concrete, and, and I'm going to run up some flags. I just hope my neighbors can see them, because I know they get really pissed off. Anyway. Trish, may I make a prediction about the neighborhood we live in? How lovely. What are they going to do? You're going to start seeing Cam Camilla stickers and flags now. Bullshit. You watch, beginning today. Bullshit. Uh, bet you five grand. Five thousand? I'll bet you one million dollars. <laughs> That's too much. You've already taken all my money. I'll bet you this wheelchair I'm in. Oh, my cane. That's not a wheelchair, buddy. It's a walker that you can sit on. Anyway, okay. 9-11. Oh. Something good. So when I, when I, they want me to pray for all those wonderful people in the military and firefighters and first responders and everything of 9-11... I'm like, yeah, yeah, but you know, they were collateral damage, but they, they were part of the problem, weren't they? Yes! They're part of the same organization that brought the buildings down. Yes. So what do you want me to do about it? Celebrate with an American flag? Anyway, I'm looking at the Dow. The stock market is down 298 points after that last night, and that's because Kamala is perceived as someone who will continue to ruin the economy like, like Biden, and uh, therefore the market is down because she had won in the eyes of most people. And had he won, the market would be up a couple hundred points the other way. There's still time before the election, but uh, your real enemy is, is, you know, Disney, ABC, NBC, CBS, Larry Fink, you know, you know Bill Gates, you know, you know your enemy, right? You know, the U.S. military is your enemy. The U.S. Congress is your enemy. And if they can have their way, as Nancy Pelosi said yesterday, you know, the godmother, basically, there's about 30%, she said, that just don't get it. They don't get, you know, and then she went through all the, the rights of LBGTQ and Black Lives Matter. They, they just don't, human rights, and they just don't get it. You know, racism, uh, ending racism, they, they just don't get it. There's third, about 30%. And her mouth, when she said that, was salivating. And that's because... You know, unlike January 6th, which she quarterbacked January 6th, but, you know, we don't get to say that, so fuck me. You know, fuck us. Fuck my head. Kill me, then. Don't have me born. Abort me. 
Because if I'm alive, I'm going to say what I see. All right? And you people that are going along with this, you've destroyed your children, you've destroyed your grandchildren, you've destroyed your society, you've destroyed everything that you sought to build and have to be nice, but you've destroyed it all because you too engaged in a lie to go along to get along. And we all did, didn't we, for a while. We put our mask on, didn't we, to go into a store when they send no mask, no service. When we should have gone in there and torn the place up, right? Into the trap. Oh